Yeah, people, yeah, people, yeah, people, yeah, people. You know what time it is. You know what it is how we rock it here on UVC Radio. All right. Legend after legend, legend after legend. You man, King Rocco HD. Broadcasting live out to the island of the West. I got my co-host in the studio out of Trinidad and Tobago, Lady Anna. And I got the legendary, 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 the great legendary artist himself. You know what it says? Some people call him, yo. Some people call him one of the one, one of the one of the fathers of dancehall music. You know what I'm saying? It's my pleasure to introduce the one and only Major Markrell into the studio. What's going on, my man? Mm -hmm. Me be bum. Mm. Yes, people, this is I, Major Macri, live and direct from Kingston, Jamaica. I am grateful and delighted to be in the house with King Rapper and Lady Anne, you know? Blessed love. Good night, you know? Blessings, blessings, blessings. Definitely, it's a pleasure. I'm really, really happy and joyful, you know what I'm saying, that you're in the studio with us tonight, man. And let us start it off, Major Markrell, you know what I'm saying? Tell us who is Major Markrell. Tell us, where were you born? Well, I was born in Kingston uh, Jubilee, Victoria, Kingston Jubilee Hospital. Born in Kingston, but I raised in a place uh, uh, in St. Andrews. All right, Jamaica, a lot of people from Jamaica said them come from Kingston. I born at Kingston, but I am from St. Andrew. I was born the 25th day of December, 1967. I am a Christmas baby. I don't, don't want to realize you're a Christmas baby, man. <laughs> he is, he is. So I reckon you're a guy, you're a Christmas baby. Christmas time, you got a lot of gifts. Yeah, I get a lot of <laughs> gifts, but because music I have to give, give a lot of gifts, more than that I get. But well, you, you know what a good book says, it's better, it's better to give than receive, that's what they say, right? <laughs> well, right now, you know, I'm born Christmas 67, and um, I'm a Capricorn, like the music, love the music. And, you know, I'm here, you know. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So tell us a little about your childhood. As a child growing up um, in Jamaica, what was life like for you as a child growing up? Well, growing up, you know, it's hard and difficult, you know, because you don't know when when the fathers them the fathers of this this world of a style when the, the relationship finish with them and the mother most of the fathers then finish with them child when the relationship with the woman finish then finish with them child so i was raised by my mother and my mother own so it's the rough you know growing up it was really rough but you know, you know, the roughness became goodness, you know. You have to do what you have to do for yourself, to, to make yourself be what you want to be. But the reality of everything, it, it was hard growing up. I had a mother with, with, with four brothers and one sister. And uh, we, we had a one-bedroom apartment with five of us in it. So you know what that kind of life there was, you know. It was really rough growing right. up. So, like in terms of schooling and so on, you want to tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, I, I, I went to from from I was in school. I know what I was gonna be famous. You know? Really? Yeah, cause yeah. I don't know what I was going to be. I don't know if I was gonna be a footballer, a cricketer, a boxer, but I was like. I, 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 I always like to be seen, like to be the center of attraction. Hmm. Growing up, in, going to school in the early days, you know, it was me and my mother alone. I never miss a day out of school. That's why, you know, up to the day I give credit to woman. woman is, a woman is the greatest thing that God created in this civilization. They know how to make two ends meet with nothing. 
trip up me chill One me a chill up me with a big fam celebrity Oh yeah, mo most definitely, most definitely So I imagine your mom had to do I mean, whatever, I mean Just to make ends meet for you and the rest of the, the family So for me and the rest of the family But I am from a musical family though, you know, because right. um, I have a bigger brother. I don't know if you know this song that Vibes Cartel did say. Come rush me now. Touch a button now. Come rush me now. My brother was the one that sing the original version of that. Oh, wow. Wow. What, what's Vibes his name, man? Cartel. That's fantastic. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, I am from a musical family. I have a bigger brother named Big the General. And one that's bigger than him, that name, Ty Buffy. But Buffy never make it as an artist. Bingy never make it as an artist. And I could not feel as an artist. If I have two brothers that never make it, you know, me did have to make it, you know. I did have to do what I have to do to get out there, you know. Right. So, so tell us. I mean, when did Major Markrell actually realize, you know, this whole singing thing actually was a part of him? Well, you know, I am not scared to tell you. We had a one-bedroom apartment. And when I come home from, 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 from school sometimes, feel, feel, feel the side of the house. Yeah, you hear me? Yes, we're hearing you. Yeah, yeah, we're listening. We're listening. Okay. Um, when we know, when we know, me they like music are from 1978. You know, that is how long I've been DJ. You know, and we come home from 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 school and feel the side of the house. If the it was a board house, so if the and the stove was inside the house. So if the side of the house warm, we know me have dinner. Okay. So okay. and if the side of the house never warm, I used to there is a ballroom in front of my house. I used to go and sit in the ballroom and DJ. Just DJ straight until it's time to sleep and go to my bed. Music is a way out of poverty. For most of us as Jamaican artists. All right? Music is most of the artists in Jamaica is, is, is fatherless. Uh, most of us never have an active father in our life. Mm -hmm. We had sperm donors. And uh, music was a way out of poverty, out of you know, to express myself, you know, I had to sit down and DJ and DJ and DJ because it was the only thing to do. I couldn't, I couldn't be a gangster. I couldn't be a gunman. I never wanted to be what was around me because I am from a garrison community in Jamaica. And um, music was my only passage. King Rocco and Lady Anne. It was yeah. the only person. Right, right. So seeing that you're telling us that, you know, the, the, because of the circumstances, you got into the music more or less, but was there any um, specific individual who sort of inspired you to get into the music or it was just your circumstances? No, um, Brigadier Jerry. I don't know if you know if that, uh, that uh, Yeah, other than Brigadier Jerry, I do. Yeah, he's a legend. That make his name around sound system, a sound name, Jalo. Yeah, man, definitely know about Jalo. Brigadier mm -hmm. Jerry is from my community. As a youth growing right. up, the clothes, the clothes that I wear is Brigadier. Okay. The clothes that I wear is Brigadier. The ear that I breathe is Brigadier. Brigadier was like life. Without Brigadier, there would be no life for me, you know? He was very so, instrumental, he was very instrumental in, in your life. Artist that really influenced me. And one of the other artists that influenced me a lot was a guy named King Yellow Man. And one... Yeah. Big up, big up, that's my good friend, man. Big up King Yellow. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm here. I am here. I'm here. I'm here. Yes, yes, that's definitely. Yeah, man. King Yellow Man and Brigadier Jerry was his, and Peter Metro is a tree. Right. That is, that really influenced me to go more, you know, to, 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 to do this music. You know? But my whole life up until today is a is based upon Brigadier Jerry. Okay, okay. Right, so right. you want to tell us a little bit about how you learned to, to sing and so on? Yeah, man. Um, first, as a little youth, they used to DJ Brigadier lyrics there. And, you know, we find myself start make one and two lyrics to myself, a few lines here, a few, few lines there. Then I said to myself, I don't want to sound like nobody. I don't want to be nobody else. I want to be myself. Yes. Original you. Know, very important. The only way I could be myself is unless I start making my own lyrics and start doing the things then that I have to do for myself. You understand? Yeah. So um I decided to start build one one line of lyrics. And then it became two lines. And then it became three lines. And then it became four line and five line and six line. Wow. And you know, so it it, 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 it you know, as you know, a million dollars start from a penny. Yes. Oh, absolutely, yes. Man, absolutely. Yeah. Yes, okay. people, yes, people, the weekend crazy out makes UVC radio. Just be experiencing some little technical glitches in there, you know, with the internet sometime. But our special guest, the legend, definitely going to be back, you know what I'm saying? Because the is weather it, is really bad. Yeah. Yes, he's Yes, okay. it's King Rocco, AG, and Lady Anna in the studio. You know what I mean? And we got the yes, legendary yes, virgin, man. Major Mark the internet, the internet, which part me there, look like it, I eat a drop, you know? Yeah, that's that's all right. That's all right. Let, let's, let's continue. Yeah, man. And, you know, from one line to two line to three line to four line. And then I realized people start like what I say, you know? My friends then... You know, you and your friends then sit down and you DJ and then start, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then encourage me. <laughs> <laughs> and then encourage me, Virgin, you know. And, you know, some of them are some boy, you sound good. You have another yeah. stuff that's some boy, you know, sound good. Sure, the one sure, that, yeah. <laughs> the one then that said I sound good, me love that. Mm-hmm. The one that will tell me no sound good, I never love that. So I start DJ if I make them say me sound good. Okay. Right, okay. right, right. Basically, mm-hmm. everybody jump aboard, you know? But it, as you know, everything starts from one line. Definitely. To our next, next line, you know? In, in, okay. In, interestingly, uh, Major Markrell, you came out of the era when I mean, not 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 trying to kick any one of these artists to the curve right now at all. You know, I believe everybody out the craft and stuff like that. And you know, time has yeah. definitely changed, and guys want to make money. So guys put in guys put in the lyrics and put in the work to do whatever it is to make the money to feed the family, right? But you came out of the era when reggae music. I still believe reggae music is up there, but when you are this roots authentic reggae. Authentic yeah, dancehall yeah. music. What would you say compared to that time to, to now? Is it a situation when you look at dancehall and reggae music? Where do you see dancehall and reggae music compared to 30, 40 years ago when you actually started? 40 years ago, it was music. Today is business. It's not music, it's business. All right, it's money making thing. The culture of the music dropped a lot. The feelings, you know, because I don't know if you know, reggae music is slave music, you know. That's the way how the slaves used to communicate by singing. Yeah, absolutely. Express themselves. Express. It, it, it is, is it like calypso, like social commentary? Put words yeah. in the, yeah. put whatever the problem in the song. Same like the calypso music. 
he'll be back. Yeah. The weather is really bad here in Trinidad. Yes, people. Yes, people. Yes, people. Yes, people. Just hang with us. Hang with us. Definitely, Major Mark is going to be up in the building back shortly. You know, he's ex- experiencing some issues, some technical issues he's experiencing. All right. In the juicy ladies and gentlemen. In the juicy ladies and gentlemen. Okay, yes, he's back. Yes. Yeah. The, the the music, the slave music, you know, that's the way all the slaves. It's just like the Calypso music from Trinidad. It's a way all the slaves in Trinidad used to communicate. Correct. The the, the, the soca music from St. Lucia is the way all the slaves used to communicate. Right, right, right. In Jamaica is the way all the slaves used to communicate. So the music is right. coming slavery you know but and 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 it had more cultural more meaning more purpose right you know we never have no dung in on a throat and cut off no people head and shoot nobody with gun you know we never had none of that you know it, it but from that time to this time it changed a lot but Major, would you say, I mean, back in the days, you used to get a lot of song clash. You heard, you heard some rough lyrics, I mean, from some of yeah. the great legends um, back in, in the early days, in the 80s and stuff. But as you rightly said, today's music is all about business. The music has no merit. So would you yeah. say back in the days, I mean, when guys actually sang a song, basically, the mean, is it a situation to mean whatever they say? Like, I don't want to believe, but like back in the days, like it didn't have music that have, you know, should I use this word derogatory meaning or anything? But what I believe back in those days, they had something we call creative writing. Because even though a guy may say, um, you know, you're going to slit somebody's throat or chop somebody's head off, they're going to put it in different meaning. And you got to think really deep in the box in order to figure out what that artist is saying. Would you agree to that? But compared to right now, I mean, it is very clear. A guy, oh, I'm, I'm a shoot this and I'm going to kill this beat. I'm, you know what I'm saying? So can, yeah. you, can you talk a little about that? Well, back then, the music, most of the music from the 70s coming into the 80s, those music was music with feelings. People was expressing what they feel. Right? Yeah, people are definitely going to be back. You know what I'm saying? It's internet issues. Yeah, we definitely definitely apologize for that. But um, go on, Lady Anna. Um, you were saying something just now. Um, go on. About the weather. We just have really bad weather here in Trinidad. Oh, uh, yes, I yes. I mean, that's you know. not his issue there, but where we are at, yeah, in the yeah. part of the Caribbean. Yeah, maybe up until Monday or thereabouts. Exactly. Okay. Yeah, we got a legendary back in the studio, people. So bear with us. Yeah, people... Let me explain to them, all the people that's out there listening, you know, I am grateful for the, the, the time, but my internet, I probably... <laughs> Expression, as you know, music has only two things in music, you know. We as of life and love. You know, every music only has two really purpose. We as of life. You must not grudge people, you must be bad mind. You know, if you hate people, you know, if you do this, you must not do that. You must do this, you must do that. And love, you know, is only two really story music of years of life and love. That is so correct. You are on point yeah. with that. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. The reality I you know, King Rapper and Lady and if you know, really look into music. Mm-hmm. Right, right. Story. Years of life and love. The things you are supposed to do. The things you are not supposed to do. Mm-hmm. The girl that loves you and you never love her. And the girl that you love and she never loves you. Wow, so real. And the girl that, true that, true that. And you love her. And the girl that you love and she loves you. Yeah. So really ways of life and love. Right? 
Bob Marley music was breaking down the walls of oppression. Mm -hmm. Black and white oppressors, you know? Right, uh, right. Mm -hmm. It's about love. See, steer it up, little darling. Yes. I'm gonna light your fire. That's love. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. From mental slavery. Yeah. Not that ourselves can free our mind. Mm -hmm. That's the place of life. Mm -hmm. It is. You it is. So, the music has two things love and ways of life. But the artist of today and the music of today. It, it, it's, it's, it, it downgrade women, promote violence, mm -hmm. and, 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 you know, somebody have some of the artists them that still are singing good songs. Yeah. Oh, most definitely, some of them. Yeah. One of the things I was, one of the things, Major, I always wonder, you know, as a disc jock, you know, I have access to, I mean, millions and millions of songs and stuff like that. Yes, sir. And one of the things, one of the things that really concerned me, to be honest with you, um, over the years listening to dancehall music, especially in the late 2000s and stuff like that, it's always a jealousy, a bad mind, envious people. Can you shed some light? Why is it for us as a, as a people? Right? Why for us, why why is it for us as a people? Um you know, everything it has to be a bad mind, a jealousy, an envious thing within in, the lyrics of our songs. Yeah, that that look in life, you know, King Rapper and Lady Anne, you know them have some nice, nice, wonderful bad mind people. I don't know if you buck up on any of them, some nice, nice bad mind people. Oh, yes, <laughs> certainly, <laughs> yes, certainly. Very loving bad mind. Sure, man. yes, yes. Um, <laughs> back. Yes, yeah, people, yes, people. What are you saying, you know, Rocco? That's so true. That, some nice bad mind people, I'm telling you that, because yeah. I, mean, I know a lot of them. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Say yes, people. King Rock Ray and Lady Anna in the studio with the legendary great Major Markrell, the veteran dancehall reggae artist out of Kingston, Jamaica. I tell you, people, you guys just, man, this is just getting better and better. <laughs> He's back with us, people. It is just getting better and better right now with the Major. <laughs> yeah, yes, Major, continue. Yes. The, the, the nice, good, bad mind people, then. Let, let's, let's talk. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it people, reminds yes. me of, of keeping your um, <laughs> your friends close and your enemies closer. Yeah, you can say keep your, your friend and your enemy closer, but <laughs> why why do you hear a lot of bad mind lyrics and a lot of people teach you about bad mind? Bad mind is something that is not only in Jamaica, it's in St. Lucia, it's in Trinidad, it's Cyprus, worldwide, yeah. Antigua, Germany, Switzerland. Most, most definitely. It's something that is, you know, you, you cannot get around it, you can't go over it, you only can try to step away from it. You understand me? And you know, it's how you respond to people and how you deal with the people them with you. But the bad mind something is something where they are all over the world, you know. It's not something that right. and the next thing a lot of artists want to be the man. All when them glorious days is behind them. Alright? A lot of the older veteran artists then. Grudge the youths then because them are the stars that Yes, did. yes. All right? You know, yeah. Major, all, 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 all of Major, not trying to cut you here, but this is quite interesting because I deal with a lot of artists and this is one of the, some, some, some major artists like yourself, you know what I'm saying, big guns. Yeah. And one of the things that I always ask some, some, some of these artists like yourself, you know, interesting that you say some of the older artists actually grudge the youth, but what are some of the older artists are actually saying? A lot of the younger artists seems like they have no respect for the veterans them. So can you tell us a little about both? Yeah, I, bought, I, I was going to that, you know. 
Um, a lot of the youth then don't have no respect for the veteran. All right, but a lot of the veteran then never show the youth them no love when them are come. Mm-hmm. Wow, right? quite interesting. Two side to every story. Mm-hmm. Abs- absolutely, right? brother. There is two sides to every. The youths of Jamaica today that are in music, most of them don't have no respect for the veteran there. All right? Because a lot of the veteran them never show them no respect when them are come. Yeah? And some of the youth them just genuinely don't have no respect for nobody. Okay. Yeah, that's true. So that it's, that it's is true. Yeah. Tied to the story, mm-hmm. the youth them that was looking upon us as veterans. Seeing a lot of us as veterans never looked down to them and spread love with them and encourage them. All right. So they did it on their own. You know, they make it. And, and and became valuable and really became an artist. So some of them now have no respect for the elders them. And a lot of the elders never did have no respect for them. It's just like a man that tell you, King Rapper, go over there so go sit down with the boy. Every day and tell you, go over there go sit down with the boy. When you turn big man now, where you going you're not going to respect that man. Because he never give you a chance to be to express yourself. He never give you a chance to, to, to make you feel like you want it. You understand? Yeah, sure, you're very correct there. Yeah. Yeah, so the youth them do not have no That is absolutely true, man. Absolutely true. Yeah, people. Yeah, people. Yeah, people. We are still here. We are still here. You know what I'm saying? Definitely, uh, definitely back with us. Okay, Major, continue. Yeah, man. Sorry for the interruption. To the- yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure the listener is going to understand that, man. You know, big up, big up yourself, champion. I <laughs> see you listening right now. All right. Yeah. Continue, Major. I you then now have no respect. For the art, for the elders, them and a whole heap of the elders, them they have no respect for the youth, them. You understand me, General? So I saw that situation, they go, you know. Right, right, right. You know, you know, it would be nice. It, it would be nice. For, you know, I mean, if you can explain the the whole ins and outs of the music thing, especially to a lot of upcoming artists and stuff like that, because one of the things that you know. We, as we all can see, I mean, artists like yourself from back in the days who are foundational artists, where you guys drop a record, you know, it's like six, seven months down the line, you guys put out something and it's still always relevant. But the current trend in dancehall music that we actually seen is basically guys, artists are actually competing against them own self. Can you touch on that a little, please? Well, the artists, them are kill them career, you know. Then the one song will sound good. And then them do a next one one day after it. A next one one day after it. So people have no time to listen to the song. So the, mm-hmm. them keep recording songs, putting out songs, and you sang a kill song. All right? Back in the days, it was different. Champion father. The name Jack Scarpio. Definitely, yeah. You did have to qualify for go at Jack Scarpio gate to stand up. Wow. Go wow. To the yard and super qualify for going to the studio. Hmm. Today, days, you have a lot of record now where you hear on the radio, I in a car they make. Everybody have a studio. Everybody is an engineer. Mm-hmm. Everybody is a, you know, back then and now it was different. Yes. That's why the music from then stand out till this time 
and you hear the artist then we bust last week or last year. Three years from now, you don't hear about them. But you still hear Super Cat Chabarank in Major Mackerel. And oh, absolutely. Uh, yeah, because the people them that was doing those music, them would have to be real professional to do it. Because mm, in those days, mm-hmm. we had the bands, the, 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 the bandsman in the studio and the artists, two track, all instrument play on one track and record and arm and they go on one track. Mm-hmm. Right, right, so right. Music from the from the sixties, seventies, eighties, and a part of the nineties are more authentic than today music. And next thing, if you listen to music of today, it don't sound like record music. It certainly don't. It do not sound like reggae music. What the producers of today are doing, they are adapting the foreign music yeah. and communicate it with reggae music. A sort of crossover. This, this, this is what you call the trap music. I would like you to touch yeah. on that. Because, I mean, yeah. it's like we all can see, I mean, our natural rich reg- roots reggae music Mm-hmm. Again, I'm not saying it's dying, but it's you like many years ago. The real don't 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 fear to say the reggae music <laughs> is dying. No, it, well, I mean, again, we still have good artists producing music, but it is yeah. not the same as it used to be. It is not the same root authentic yeah. music as it used to be. The so yeah, go on. The producer then one song. Then, then change up the music and don't blame a lot of the artists, blame the producers. A lot of the producers then, them want their music a certain way. You understand me? And the artists know because he want the limelight, he have to follow what the producers say. So, right? so true. Yeah, if, if, if the original producers then like, for example, King Jammies, Black Scorpio, Bobby Digital. See, if those real producers stick to the roots of the music and then the new producers come with something to change it, you're going to have conflict. That is the reason why the original authentic reggae music is fading. It's not, it, reggae will never die. No, it will never. Uh, it never die. But the strength of it is not there the mm-hmm. way it was in the 80s and early 90s. Uh, you know, Major Mackerel, you know, we all hear what is this, this old trap music kind of thing. Can you explain what is trap music? For people who are listening who don't know what is the meaning of a trap. Trap music is like reggae time. It's a version of reggae. But it's still reggae, but it's reggae with something else. All right? It still carries the drum beat of the reggae. Mm -hmm. But the, 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 the instruments, the playing, and the players of instruments are playing different. All right? It's not like when champion father was in the studio. Still, he was over there on his keyboard. Sly, I, I, I play the drum. Rabbi, I play the bass. There's a computer play everything yeah. now. Yeah. Just about to get to that. Man mm-hmm. can yeah. play the whole reading. Back then, <clears throat> it wasn't like that. Mm-hmm. You understand? Right. You have a man who play a keyboard, a keyboard him come to play. Mm-hmm. You have a man who play a percussion, he comes to play a percussion. Yeah. You have a man who play a drum, him come to play a drum. Right now, yeah. trap right. music is, is one machine to play everything. You play one line at it, and then you loop it till the rhythm. Yeah. Uh huh. And yes. you play the drum yeah. track. 
and them loop mm -hmm. the drum track till it finish. Mm -hmm. They play the keyboard or the piano in it and then loop it till it finish. In my time, still, you would have to play the whole four minutes of the music. Absolutely. And, Absolutely. Uh, champion father, he, he would have made Sly and Robbie play the four minutes of music. He would have met Flabba play the four me minutes of music. Hasmouth, who is a drummer, he might be drum for four minutes. Chop music. You play one line of it and then you loop it till the reading done. So no time no putting at the music. No effort no putting at the music. So it must sound different from the authentic original Jamaica music, but our music, Jamaica reggae music will never die because all genres of music, except from Calypso, which is from the Caribbean and Soka, is from reggae music. You know? And we have to big up the Trinidad people then. With the oh, yes. <laughs> yes. But, you know, you know, you know, as I say, the, uh, um, what do you call it? Reggae music actually born out of, born out of Calypso music. Well, I couldn't say that because uh, we as Jamaican used to speak to our slave masters. So, uh, reggae music is slave music. It's communicating without the slave master. And reggae music is not our Original music. Our original music is mentor. Mentor, absolutely. Yeah, mentor. See? And then you have Scar. Yep. And yep. then you have rock steady. And absolutely. Then you have reggae. And now they make a music named dance hall music. No music, no name dance hall music. Dance hall is a place where the music plays. Mm -hmm. the old, make, old, make a lot of sense. Music, yeah. The old play, the old genre of the music is reggae music. Mm -hmm. All right, that is what it come to. It was from rocks. It was from mentor, and then it got to scare, and then it got to rock steady, and then it got to reggae, and then they have a new music now named dancehall music. But this is life, you know. 40 years ago, with, I, I am in Jamaica. King Rocco is in St. Lucia. You is in Trinidad. Yes. 40, year, 40 years ago, the three of us couldn't be on the phone, seeing and speaking with the yeah. yeah. So, so true, man. So true. Time change. And yeah. you have to make changes with the time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. All right. So, the new music, the trap music, I sub, I like it. I don't support it, but I listen to it. And um, if I am to do it, I will do it. But it's not my preference. Mm -hmm. Understand me? Dance, yes. hall, dance hall is a place. No music, no name dance hall music. Because when, when you think of dance hall, yeah? When, for me, when I think of dance hall, I'll think of dance hall many years ago, back in the 80s. I mean, I was knowing <laughs> in that time, but, you know, I, I follow the music. I love the culture. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? When I think of dance hall music, I'll think of dance hall music. Da dance hall is a place that people are going rubber dub. You know, people enjoy themselves, have a nice time. That's how I would see it. Let me tell you about dance hall. Me and Lady and going at the dance, right? Right. Right. She have on a, she have on a white skirt. And me have on a blue pants. Ah. Uh -huh. Right. When we going home, your white skirt became blue and white. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's the closeness. <laughs> <laughs> that's the closeness, man. Previous <laughs> man. Woman dance and man, the back of them are wild. <laughs> right, 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 right. It's different. <laughs> but as the same, brethren, things and times change. And if you want to be relevant, if you yeah. want to be, you know, you have to. Yeah, you have to, yeah, move with the progress. You cannot make all the changes 
but you can make some of the changes. Mm -hmm. Certainly, that is so true. So, so, so true. I'm grateful about the music now, King Rocco and Lady Anne. Is this, we have a thing named YouTube where people mm -hmm. can see where the dance right. Yes, people, it's the weekend crazy. You can see what the dance was like. Yeah. It changed now a lot. Because right now, as pretty as Lady Anne is, you know, to the dear, she and her boyfriend going out and party. <laughs> he and I stand up and she there in the middle of the dance, I dance and I exercise and I enjoy herself. Right, right. Mm -hmm. Clothes and our fan dangles and, mm -hmm. and our sexy clothes. Then you as a man now, she, she alone. You are going to try a thing. Uh, yeah. Definitely, definitely. Uh, a movie, yeah, so. mm -hmm. When you go so and go say something to her, you see a man come out of her true. Now. Yeah, out of nowhere. True, true. Talk to me, old man, I'm a old man. If you and your old man come out of together. Yeah. Right, right. Uh -huh. so, as me say again, I'm going to say it again. Things and time change, you know? Mm -hmm. so, so, certainly. Certainly. Um, I call you zero in then on it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So true. And what I have to say, you have some of us that still live the old style. Mm -hmm. But you have some of us that want to be modern. Hmm. All right? So if you are in the modern world, mm -hmm. doing modern things, it won't look like the original thing. Hmm. So true. Uh, Major, you know, one of the yeah. things, let, let, let's touch on this because, you know, we're talking about artists touring and stuff like that. I mean, yeah, yeah. Um, yourself, you've been around, I mean, all across the world over the years and stuff yeah, like man. that. Yeah. You know, we, we got, again, we're not kicking any artists but out here, but we, we, we need to highlight, we need to highlight these, the, the, these situation here. You know, a lot of artists, you know, jump, I mean, may travel from uh, maybe from, uh, let's say, maybe from New York to Miami, Miami to Atlanta and call itself and say, and say that, you know, the, the bus, they are big artists, you know, they went on tour. I mean, wh what is your definition of tour of an artist? Tour is country to country. Mm. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. For example, I left Jamaica, I come to America. A tour is not under 10 shows. Show, tour is 50. Okay, he will. All right, people. Yes, definitely. Major going to be back. Definitely, we apologize for that. You listen to the Weekend Crazy Out Makes King Rocco HD and Lady Anna, my co host. And we got the legend, Major Mackerel, just experiencing some little issues. But he's back. He's back. Yes, I tour. Being on tour. All right. Let me let Jamia cancel me. I do a Caribbean tour. All right. I got Trinidad. I'm a St. Lucia. Right. Two for that. That's not a tour. Okay. Mm, interesting. All right. Tour is you got Trinidad, St. Lucia, Barbados, Antigua. You got different. Right. Places. Yeah. All right. We left Jamaica. Go and come to New York. Do a show in New York. Go to Boston. One of Philadelphia, and then you come back right. to Jamaica. Some shows that you go do, you're not tour that. Tour is you left Jamaica, you start in Miami, you do a show in Orlando. You left Orlando, you go to Jacksonville. Right. Left Jacksonville, you go to Virginia, leave Virginia, North Carolina, South Carolina. Mm -hmm. Left South Carolina, you go to California. Left California, you have a Connecticut. Left Connecticut, you reach a New York. Left New York, you go to Jersey. That is a tour. Mm. But, 
artists of today, you know, them get too sure, too sure America. Just for themselves to look good, them say them going on tour. On tour, okay. Right, right, right. Yeah. But that's not a tour, that's some shows. That, that, that's interesting. Yeah. You know, the reason, the reason why I ask you this question, because, you know, all right, definitely people made you just kind of drop out, but, you know, he's, he's going to be back. But, um, you know, the reason, listeners, why I asked Major Markrell this question, because, you know, I spoke to a lot of, speak to a lot of artists, rather, and um, one of the things they always say to me as well, to just what Major Markrell actually in, did indicate, you know, he, well, Major Markrell is back. And yeah, yes, yeah. Ma yes, Major, the reason why I ask you the question, you know, um, <clears throat> I speak to some artists, and, you know, one of the things, big up King Yellow, you know, King Yellow still on, still on the road, you know what I mean? Yeah, man, we're tour. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Big up King Yellow. Yeah. Yeah, you know, myself and King Yellow, we have a good relation and stuff like that. And, you know, one thing, I all... Go on. Go on, Major. Sorry. He's like tour. Keep it on tour. You understand Major Macri is on Japan tour. Right. You know? You know? Um, but the reality of it, you know, a lot of the artists then just say, just for look big. Mm-hmm. Could do some shows and go on a tour. The word go on tour mean make you look bigger than when you go do some shows. <laughs> mm. Okay? Interesting. So, Interesting. If a man have a show at Trinidad and one at St. Louis, I say, yeah, me go on a Caribbean tour. But the reality is reality, it are two shows him go do. Right, right. Interested. So, so you were a major. You know, you leave Jamaica six months on the road, traveling from country to country, um, uh, sleeping um, in hotel after hotel. That what you call tour. Different shows on the road. Different shows on the road. No, not two and three shows. Some shows that. All right, tour is a thing where, you know, and if I should tell you the artist that tour the most out of Jamaica, I don't think you know him. You know? I know you know him, but I don't think you could come up with the, with the, with the correct answer. No. <laughs> A man with the name Burning Spear. Burning Spear. All right, tell us, tell us. <laughs> that man booked four and five years in advance. Oh. Wow. Yeah, check out his history, Burning Spear. Yeah, King Yellow Man do a lot of tour. But I would say Burning Spear tour more than him. So, okay. so Major Mark, let, let's turn the attention to you for a moment. Yes, so, t t tell us, you know, the first time when Major Mark Rell, actually held a microphone in his hands. What was that moment like to you? Frightened, power, <laughs> but me the one to eat. It was 1978 in my community. All right? Them have a thing when the crown enough Miss Kentire. And, um, you know, them time the brigadier was as me tell you, brigadier is life. Oxygen, air, food, water, mm -hmm. sleep. Mm -hmm. Brigadier is everything. All right. So the first time we hold a mic in a my hand, me the real coward. But then me realize the people them are listen to me. So me just go in and when me do. The question you should have asked me. Is the first time you go up on a big stage. Uh, all right, tell us about that. Well, the first time you go up on a big stage, the bands are play. And the way of my heart a beat, you could hear my heart. Wow. Beat, the play. <laughs> we, every artist, and don't make none of them tell you, so them go up on stage with confidence. When it's near time for your work, hmm. we all have butterflies. Mm -hmm. Because 
We don't want to go up on the stage and flop. We Correct. don't want to go up on the stage and do a good show. Mm -hmm. So going into the show, we are wonder if the show are go all right, if we are go please the people, then if them are go love with the we all them love. When them call your name now and the people, the people, the audience give you that response, that's when the butterfly then fly will leave you. Mm -hmm. I, I can imagine, man. I'm being Jamal Kiyaput and Dini Man and Bounty Killer go up on the stage. But don't let none of them artists that fool you. Everybody get butterfly when it's time, near time to perform. Okay? Mm. <laughs> and, and we still do. Oh, up to today, Rapper. yeah? Yeah. Rapper. Um, I would like to ask you a Go on. Question. Um, if you are going to play a party, don't you want to give them your best performance? Most certainly, definitely, absolutely. Uh huh. Um, some of the time before you start playing, you ever wonder if you are going to please the crowd the right way? Yeah, yeah you, 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 get, you get those moments, but one of the things that then, we as artists can get it and and you as a selector can get it. Oh, absolutely. Uh, absolutely. It's something natural. Everybody have little fear in it. Well, you see, one of the things as a selector or an artist, um, you yeah. feed off, the, off, off of the crowd. Off of the crowd, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, when them call your name, you know one of the worst things that can happen to you yeah, is for the MC call your name and the crowd no respond. Yeah. Oh, there. My. T tell, yeah. tell us about those moments, man. <laughs> yeah. Them moments, the man, if you check some man, pants, foot, man, if you <laughs> rub your arm, pan in front. <laughs> <laughs> man, start sweat. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It was like you get up there and you're performing and the crowd just not responding to you. No. No, like when the MC call your name. Yeah, and yeah, 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 and they don't. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Them not mm -hmm. glad to see you. It's like, you know, you're not, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, so what do you do as an artist? I mean, that, I mean, that moment, it could be quite nerve wrecking, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, what you do? You wreck your nerve and you're sweating at your pants. But you're not making <laughs> <laughs> you want to tell us a little bit about um, that legendary name of yours, Major Mackerel, how that name came about? Uh, well, I do question. I think I'm a mackerel, you know. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe, yeah. I think I'm a mackerel. I'm both sick with that. Yeah, man. I, 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 I'm... And bust it with a stone, open it with a stone. Oh shucks. All right. <laughs> and and after me eat it out of the can, it to me and poison. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. So uh -huh. the original name was King Macri. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. See? And then through me as a youth, me didn't know me as a famous, but me didn't know what I was going to do. Because since me on the on the phone, me would have right. tried five times already. Me want to be seen, me want to be heard, me want, me want people. Yeah. If me and you Absolutely. Understand, you want to look for me, me I do something for your look for me. All right. Me I go see a car I come and no say it now I go lick me and run across the street. Just be a say, hey boy, how are you? Me did like to be seen. Right, right. Me did like to be, 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 be seen. So me didn't know me I going to be somebody famous. I don't know if I was going to be a bad man, a singer, a DJ, a footballer, a cricketer. Or anything famous, but I know me did not be somebody famous because me like to be seen. Like I, I am the center of attraction. 
Hmm. All right, just like how you there treated that, and India yeah. said, Lucia, me I'm going to use this as an example. I am in Jamaica, the two of them are sent Lucia, and one day I triggered that, and the two of them are talking to me at Jamaica. I am the center of attraction. <laughs> All right, <laughs> that's okay. right, that's right. I so, like that. <laughs> I didn't know if there was going to be something famous. I just never know what it was, you know, Mama? Yes. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, absolutely. So, ma- uh, go, go on, Major. Apologize. Go on. No, you, me, are weird, man. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I thought you was about to say something. <laughs> so, so, tell us, man. I mean, who are some of the major artists that you have performed with over the years? Well, I... Every and anybody that's in reggae, the only person I never performed with was Bob Marley. Okay. All right? Oh, okay, but got you. Got you. Had a, even tonight, we have a, a vintage show in Jamaica tonight with Big Youth, Derek Morgan, Leroy Sibbles, Major McRae, Mm-hmm. And um, I perform with everybody. Yeah, Beanie Man, Bounty Killer, Kiaputan, Shabarang, Super Cap, you know, Pinchers, Pliers, Chakademus and Pliers, King Yellow Man, Peter Metro, Boro Bantan. I don't know if it's a BBC one extra with me, Peter Metro and Boro Bantan. Yeah. Yeah, um, I, 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 I perform with everybody that's in the music. If they was before my time, you know, because a lot of people think Bob Marley was the first superstar in Jamaica. No. We had Millie Small. My boy, Lolly Pop. All right. We had Arabella Fante. We had people before him. True, true that, true that. We had great people before him. So, Bob Marley is not the first superstar. He is the man that put re- Jamaica reggae music on the map. The map, yeah. on the map, yeah. Yeah. exactly. He's not the first superstar in Jamaica. There was a lot of great people before him. You have Lord Kitchener. You have um, um, Sammy Plan, Pisa Crandon, Apoli, and a beer. You have a lot of great people before him. Right, right, right. That's right. And then, so, the, the history of the music and the struggle of the music, it is very tall. And yet still I, I yet still I perform with any and everybody from my era that was alive when I was when I get famous. I perform with everybody. Because I get famous in in nineteen eighty six. Right. So, you know, so all the artists yeah. that was available in nineteen eighty six from then till now. And you had, a, you had a large pool of artists within that era, <clears throat> right? A 24 passport me down in a bridge. Wow. <laughs> you know, interesting, interesting you said 24 passport you done. Because we all know you moved from Jamaica and immigrated to the United States at one point in your life. Tell us what a transition like moving from Kingston, Jamaica to the United, to New York. Well, it... it, it, it. If I was in Jamaica all of those years, I would have been much bigger than who I am. But I never had a father. I had a sperm donor. Okay. And I never wanted to be like my father. So then, I go so boom, start get children. My baby mother had my first son at Bronx Lebanon Hospital. And that changed my life a lot because after I getting that child, me don't want to see him grow. Right, right. All right? Me don't want to see him grow. Mm-hmm. And then the next child come, 
a next child come, a next child come, and then the responsibility of life yeah. took me. Yeah. Mm. But the reason why I spend so much time in America is the children. They don't really want to see them grow, and mm. they don't want to know them favorite colors. Yes, that's important. They don't want to know them favorite food. Yes. You don't want to know them favorite subject. You know? Yeah. You don't want to know all of them things because I never have a father in my life you know, to teach me nothing about being a man. Quite, quite interesting, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know? So them things, uh, that are one of the reasons. And I'm going to tell you the truth here. Yeah? Talk to us, man. Talk to us. <laughs> Why me stay a new year? See, me and my baby mother dead. Eh? Me start bad and I'll do me at the. Then me hear say me baby mother have a boyfriend. Oh. Me never have no whole heap of problem with Joe Grind. All right? Mm-hmm. But Joe Grind go move in his friend when he in a all in the house. Zin, rock up, rock up, come pan screen. One. Listen me, Ara. Yes. I bought you get. Me no get born. Me get the whole beer creek. Me okay. get well, 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 and if you don't know what he's saying, in Jamaica they call it bun, in Trinidad they call it a tobacco. <laughs> in Jamaica they call it bun. <laughs> <laughs> They call it a tobacco. Or when somebody on you. <laughs> tobacco. Well, me never get tobacco in a Trinidad. Me get the <laughs> Me get bun, cheese, tooty oh, food, man. Plant, tart, rock cake. Me, oh. get, me have Easter every day. Uh-huh. Belly full, everything. Yeah, man. So me and me and me and me and me and the boy the the, the Hana man. Hana. The Hana man mash me up bad. Oh sure. Because <laughs> me did your hand people, you know. Me never tell you no lie. Me did a hand. Oh, to pull you back on track. But when the, the Hana man start Han me, <laughs> well, you mad scrape off of me, boss. <laughs> well, I don't like the Hana man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, the Hana man mash me up rock on the Why you can't be sweating up in the studio, man? Oh, well, well, well. well. <laughs> So, so, the, uh, so, so because of that, I should keep you in New York. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you could, you could have deal with it. <laughs> Rocco, you know what that oh, that hey. that reminds me yeah, of. <laughs> yes, yeah, 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 go, go, on, Anna. Yes, yeah, we, we you know, it's, it. it's, it's like men, men could, <laughs> they could give horn, but they're not gonna take it, it you know. <laughs> What? <laughs> well, well, what's the Trinidad name for it? Yeah, we call it Horn too. Yeah. All right. Um, yeah. Rocco, what name in Saint Lucia? Um, but they call they call it in French. They call it Go Well. <laughs> well, you know, Go Well. You know, in Saint Lucia, we are bilingual. We speak both French, Creole, and English. <laughs> In Eng- in the English dialect, what's the name? Yeah, in English, it, it, it got to, it got to mean the same thing. Um, when when I mean, if you were to, um somebody, uh, you know, the, the, the cheat on you, they horn you. Yeah. It's the same yeah. thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man, I tell you, well, 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 well. Yeah, man, the horn, yeah, man, that kill me, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, people, this is quite. This is quite a humorous. Interesting, <laughs> interesting, yeah. Quite interesting, humorous <laughs> discussion with the legendary. Yeah, yeah, me have to tell the truth. Yes, we appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> 
But after all of that, Major, I mean, um, with all those difficult times that you have dealt with over the years and stuff like that, where do your music actually take you? How your music really stand? You know, in, because you said something interesting. If you were in Jamaica, you think you would have been bigger. Um, is it a situation you did not add a place in, 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 in the United States for reggae music? Can you tell us a little bit more about that? What reggae music was like back in those early days in New York? Well, the it it New York back in the early days. New York was like a version, a version of England. All right, because you know Jamaican artists go England a lot and New York. New York reggae scene was more. More, more of um, something close to Jamaica, but not the same thing. Because in Jamaica, mm -hmm. right. we never used to fire shot in a dance and do this and do that. In New York, they do a lot of crazy things in the early days in dance. It was, it was nice, you know. It was really nice, you know. And then when you fly from Jamaica and you go to New York you now, and people surround you. And people do what they have to do with you, and you you, you feel like a hero. You, you feel nice. Mm. See? You feel really nice. But um, feel like a king, mackerel. Feel like a king, you know. Yeah, yeah. You feel like a king, man. Now we ask you, man. You go in a dance, and girl, I run your dog. Everybody want to be a friend and everybody that 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 life nice, you know. It, it really nice. It, it was nice, but the dance I seen in New York was like Jamaica. In Jamaica is a is a it, it in New York it was more of a more of a, 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 a hype thing. Mm -hmm. A hype so year me lady and it, it's yeah. Yeah. You know, in a Jamaica, true, we used to the people, them are used to the dancer. When people see you sometimes, you know, people was like, Hi lady, and how you doing? Sure. Hi, yeah. people, how you doing? Right. You know, is Wag Wan Muma. Yeah. Right. So okay. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I know what yes. it is, man. Yeah. Hey, hey, who are me there? I'm me and King Rato there. And me and Shabba there, you know. And me yeah. And me and right, there. right, right. So, uh, different hype. Yeah. Yeah, it, it was more hype. It was more mm -hmm. of a hype, you know? Mm -hmm. so it, it's, more, it's more of a buzz in New York compared to... Yeah, man. More of yeah. a buzz in New York. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, def definitely. You know, Major, I'll tell you this, man. I know we got a lot of new tracks and stuff for you, but over the years, before we've introduced those new tracks, because that, that basically yeah. we're, we're going to be featuring momentarily. But before yeah. we introduce those news track, you know, over the years, you have some big, big hits. I wanted the big hits. I must say that I really like over the years. I'm going to play it right now. And, and then we're going to get back shortly to the studio. And then we're going to discuss one of this song here. This song is titled Tie Me Up. Well, 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 well. Since you talk about um the 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 old awning thing and the old tabanka or whatever it is right now so <laughs> let, let, let's get into this right for major mackerel people i'm here to mackerel again and the same man yeah people yeah people this is the man major mackerel the legendary I'm king again. right here on the weekend the a lady and out of here let's do it right now from here back Yeah, 
Some tap a rat, tap a dog, tap a fuse, tap a goat, tap a Yes, me a jam, my friend, I'm a book, 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 i am a book i You guys can definitely check him out on YouTube, Instagram, all the social media, all that you can find music. Check him out, people. Check him out. Is the legendary Major Mackerel. Judges, what do you have to say about this show? Well, I give it a hundred. One hundred. Hundred and ten percent. One thousand. We still got him in the studio, people. We just vibes it in the meantime, all right? We're going to definitely get him back up in the building shortly. <laughs> Yeah, big up yourself, champion. Locked in right now. Nah, 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 nah. Whoa, pull it up, pull it up, pull it up, pull it. Up. You know what I said? Nice, you gotta play it twice. It's a legendary major mackerel. And the tune that I'm gonna do for you, it's not for airplay, but if you want it, you can have it. Yeah, people tell you can dance to them tune, you can dance to them tune there. What do you have to say about this show? Well, I get Sing it right now. 100 percent. 110 percent. 1000 percent. Talk to them, Major. Talk to them. <laughs> <laughs> Big show, people, big show. I tell him I love this song, yeah, I love it. Tell you why, classical, classical, authentic dance. Um, Yo, major, listen, man. Let, let, let's start. Let's start for the genesis. As I said, listen, we got some new track, some brand new track we're gonna be featuring shortly. But you know what? I want to get the listeners to understand who is this, who, who is this man? You know, what I'm saying? who is this guy, Major Marker? Bring us back into those days, brother. Well, right, right now, right now, in the and early nineties, you know, right. Is, 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 you know, Major Mackerel, the legendary iconic figure, you know. And uh, that's right. DJs and uh, out of uh, most of the legendary DJs that are in Jamaica, I am probably one of the only, me and Ninja Man. <laughs> and Jose Real is definitely a veteran right. artist that current hit song, current songs. That's still DJing, you know, and, and keep doing, putting out records that people like. 
You understand me? And um, I am grateful for the year, you know? Right, right. Since 1970 year till now is 42 years. With quite some time in it. Yeah, yeah. To be on one job for 42 years and still can produce new songs. That's amazing. Yeah, it is. It is definitely amazing, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, people. You know, as I said, we've been experiencing some technical issues with the internet with Major Markrell, but he's going to be back in the studio shortly, man. Y'all don't worry, man. He's going to be right here. <laughs> yes, Anna. I mean, it, 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 it is amazing. It's, it's not easy to be so relevant and discompetitive. Not at all. Not at all. But he's back. Continue, Major. Yes, Rocco. Yes, Rocco. You know, um, still, still can do songs, you know. And 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 a current song, you know, I have a collaboration with Beanie Man that's doing very well worldwide. And you know, a lot of people going hear it for the first time tonight. Wow. And I have one with me and Loot and Fire that's doing good. And you know, earlier on in the program. We had a discussion about the younger artists not respecting the older artists. Yeah. I am delighted to let the world know that this new major mackerel that is being presented to the world. Yeah, people, yeah, people, yeah, people, we are here. King Rocco, AG, and Lady Anna, the weekend crazy up mix, and the legendary great Major Mockrell in the studio. Yes, Major, continue. Hold on. This new Major Mockrell that whatever you hear from no one, 2022. Onwards. Yeah, continue, Major. We are here with you. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. It's the weekend crazy art mix. UVC radio, the song that binds us together. I tell you, people, yeah. tell you this right now. If you guys enjoying this interview, I would like you guys to text us right now. I know you guys enjoying this interview from Africa to Europe to the United States and the rest of the Caribbean. You know what I'm saying? Our numbers in the studio are 646-443-6970. If anything you would like to say to the artist, send us a voice note. All right? Yeah, continue, Major. Yeah, right now, I just rejuvenate me, you know. King Rocco. Lady Anne, I was rejuvenated by Joshi. Uh -huh. I went to Migril the 3rd of January this year to do a show for an artist named TJ. And when we go on Migril, the police them lock off the show because the Migril have state of emergency. Right. You know, because you know, I'm not I'm not happy to say this. The crime rate in Jamaica is it it, it, it sometimes it, it's ridiculous. Even here in St. Lucia and Trinidad as well, it is really, yeah. really yeah, ridiculous. Aware of what, that, yeah. What what I really realize though is is not people doing innocent people things, it's criminals and criminals of their own conflict. Yeah, again. Absolutely. Yeah. You yeah. Understand, mommy. Yes. And when we realize now, are people who involve Yeah, Mark. Uh, yeah, Major. We are here with you. Continue. Yeah. What I'm saying is this, King Rocco. You know, the, 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 the police, them lock up the show on the grill. So the morning now, we go to the same hotel, and when the morning come, we sit down at the poolside. And me and Joshy did it, a freestyle. And Joshy make me feel like 1985, 86, when I was a young artist. Mm hmm Hmm. That, that's awesome, man. You know, and I am, I, I am grateful. May God bless the womb that conceived that child, hmm. the genitals that deliver him. 
Yeah, big up to his mom. Yeah, yeah. big up to his mother yeah. and father. Yes. You know, him is the stepping stone, the rock behind Major Mackerel right now. Awesome, awesome. Okay. So that's why I told you, you have some veteran artists who never treat the youth them good. So the youth them disrespect them. And you have some of the youth them who are just deliberately disrespectful. Yeah. But Joshi is a good youth. That youth rejuvenate Major Mackerel career. Major Mackerel. Big, big him up. Big up Joshy, man. Big mm -hmm. up Joshy, man. Anyway, yes, big up. Big up. Yeah, big, big up Joshy and big up the man champion because, trust me, man, champion really pushing Major Mackerel right now. Yeah, man, champion, I'm a boss, man. <laughs> champion, I'm a friend for life. Yeah, man, for real, for real. Up top. King Rapper. In can left me, I'm a friend for life. He can left me in a house naked with him daughter and him wife. <laughs> but... <laughs> understood. Un understood. 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 Yeah. I'm yeah. up. That, you know? Yeah, man. Definitely big up champion. Yeah, right. Definitely genuine guy. You know, uh, me, 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 me and him a reason and him a say, boy, me a jam a prayer. You can't beat them again, you know. I say, yeah, but me alone can't do it in a champion. I have a need you with me, you know? Yes, yes. True, true, true. Champion put in the work. But, all right, yes, people, Major definitely going to be back. Um, yes, UVC Radio, the sound of Binance together, King Rocco, AG, and Lady Anna on the uh, Weekend Crazy Mix, as I said. You guys can definitely send us a message on WhatsApp, 646-443-6970. I would like to say a big shout out to each and every one of you who tuning in right now. And all those of you who are checking in with us right now in the chat room, definitely appreciate that. You know what I'm saying? We have the great legend in the studio, the man, Major Markrell, authentic foundational dancehall reggae artist out of Kingston, Jamaica. He's been doing his thing 42 years ago, and he's still doing his thing in 2022. All right, Major, you are back. Let's turn the attention a little bit to you. Um, <clears throat> you know, we all read about it in the media and stuff like that. You know, Major Markrell um, had some medical um, issue in recent time. And, you know, you actually amputate, actually got one of your legs amputate. Um, tell us a little about that. What was that moment like for you as an artist? Well, that was like the end of the world, you know? My life stopped when time I lose my leg, bridge because I'm diabetic since 1992. Diabetes has killed my father, my mother. Okay. It, it is family, family, family tradition now. It's a tradition. Yeah. It's in the family. Yeah, generic, and, um, yeah. Me and Ninja Man was racing in Jamaica on a road near Red Hills Road. And I ran out of my shoes and something stick me in my feet and I never appear in no mind. Okay. Oh, there. And, you know, I lose my leg. And um, at that time, I think the world finished. Yeah, the morning when I walked up, King Rapper. I mean, look, I mean, don't see no leg. Yeah. I, think I thought my life finished. But then throughout the passage of time, you know, I learned that I've never seen a man where losing leg and the throwback. I never see a man where lose a harm and the throwback. And I am still alive. I still amen. have room. Yes, amen. And life more abundantly. Right. Yeah. Wow. So the reality of it is that I had to take that and turn it into a positive. What yeah. No. Yes. I have to use the negative and turn it into positive. And and I have this to say to all the people out there that's facing problems. It will slow you down, but do not let it destroy you. 
Yeah, most, most, most definitely. But, you know, looking at it more on the spiritual side, tell us a little bit, you know, um, most people talk about God and Lord and Jah being there. All right, I guess he'll be back. Yes, definitely. Definitely he's going to be back. <laughs> you know, people. Yeah, I would like yes. to continue. Yes, and yes, I'm yes, indeed, us. people. You know, technology yeah. sometimes, man. It could be a pain in the ass, sir, about that. But you know what? <laughs> Thank God we are here tonight, man. And, um... We're going to definitely get the major back in the studio momentarily. Yes. Yeah, so, but again, once again, people, you're listening to UVC Radio, the sound of binding together. So he's back. He's back. Right. King Rocco, yes. Adrian, Lady Anna with a legendary great yeah. Major yeah, Macro. Yes, yeah. yes. yes, Major. So tell us, you know, about the spiritual aspect of this. What role that, um, you know, the Lord played in, in bringing you back out here. Right now, where well, you right. are at. All right, he's he's there. Okay, I guess he will be back because that's that's interesting, Arako. Oh, absolutely, it is. Yeah, it is. We're going through our low times. Yes, we went when, down in the valley. Yes. When you when you're there in the valley, you have to free your mind. The most I free my mind. Yes. As we said already, emancipate yourself from mental slavery. Slavery, yeah. Don't make true. You used to run up and down on stage. And, you know, you have one foot. You can't run the way how you used to run. Mm -hmm. You still can DJ the way how you used to DJ, but you can't run the way how you used to run. Don't make that stop you. You have to emancipate yourself. You have to just say, the same old slave meal. Grinding slow, but grinding still. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You understand me? In other words, I had to adjust my mind. I had to adjust my mind mentally. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Before I adjust myself physically. You know, King Rocco waking up that morning out of the surgery and I looked below. Mm -hmm. I saw one foot and five toes and I look and I saw a piece of leg. Oh, that was the wickedest time of my life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, it can be hard, man. Definitely. But then, you know, Rocco, I grow mentally and I grow spiritually. Yes, the spiritual side. That, that is yeah, important. important. That is very important. That is very important. Yeah, and you definitely have a testimony now to share. Yeah, and you know, the most I can say to anybody, we have got you them situation, yeah, we are listening yeah. to. Yeah, yeah. You have to free your mind and mm -hmm. you have to trust in your God. Mm -hmm. mm, right. Wow! True, true, true. God said, "I put my children in the best places in the world." So while you are going through your situation, remember, there is a plan for you. Yeah, you have your purpose, your divine purpose. You have a divine purpose. You only, you you know, just they have to eat, sleep, and drink. Mm -hmm. See, you have a purpose in your life. Mm -hmm. And I am here. I am happy. I am alive now. And I am with my sister in Trinidad and my brother in St. Lucia. Yes, yeah. amen to that. Yes, yes indeed. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I am delighted for that. I am gl gl glory, to, gl glory to the most high for that, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. And, 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 and wrap up. Talk to me, the one. You see that girl the way you worry about? Stop worry about her. She will come back. Yeah, boy, bitch, yeah, boy. Yes. Yes, yeah, Major. <laughs> 
That um, tall, short, slim, fat, dark, brown, cute, ugly man, the way you worry about lady. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> you hear when she rock up? Yeah, well, I, I hear you, I hear you, I hear you, yeah, boss. Man, he's a tall, short, slim, fat, dark, brown, cute, ugly man. <laughs> lady, and I hear I you, Major. Man, if I hear man, he may go come back. Okay. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, I tell oh, listen yeah. people, listen people. Boy, listen, y'all never see this out of Major Mackerel. I'm sure y'all never see him. Y'all never hear him like this. You know what? Listen to me, man. He's speaking it all out tonight. He's running on all the people. He is speaking his mind. This is a weekend crazy hard thing. Uh, Go on, Major. Yeah. So this show people. Don't mm. let no Step on you from what you don't want to be. Yes. All right. A lot of us, we are our greatest help, and most of us is our worst enemy. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. And listen to me. You trap and put things in your brain. Take them out, and know say life is reality. You still have life. Yes. Yes. All right. Where's some the wise man? Anything you want to be, you can be. Most definitely. But it all starts with you, mm -hmm. yourself, mm -hmm. and you. True. You have to be you. Mm -hmm. You can't say you love lady and you don't love yourself. Absolutely. That's right. That's so true. Yes. You can't mm -hmm. say you love yeah. King Rafa or you love Major Mackerel and you don't love yourself. Love yourself. Mm, yeah. True, true, true. You yeah. have to love you mm -hmm. and put you before everything. That's right. Yeah. Because everything yeah. started with you. Me just happy. Right now, do we owe me happy? Me happy like Christmas, the Christmas day of hope. <laughs> oh boy, I tell you this. Uh, also, you're born on December 25th, so you're a Christmas baby too. <laughs> yeah, you know, and, and me really happy mentally because me have a right team in my life now. True, true. You need me a church champion where I give me in, in, in a home. Yeah, people, what an interesting, what an interesting discussion we have in here. We, we, got, we got a few more minutes in the studio, but That's man, I'm right. telling you this, Anna, what a story from the major. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He prophesizing tonight. Oh, yes. Uh, that's what I'm saying. A lot of people know him as a DJ, but a lot of people don't know that spiritual this aspect side. of his life as yeah. well, too. Yeah. Yeah, man, I'm telling you. Yeah, he's, he's back, man. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people didn't see the spiritual side of Major Mackerel. You know what I'm saying? The guy is yeah, speaking no, it tonight, no, no. man. How are you, sir, Bridget, man? I'm saying a lot of people uh, do not see the spiritual side of you. This is this is coming yeah, from your heart, man. man. Yeah, man, you have to be real with your thing. You can't be no, you can't fake with nothing. Yeah, true, true, yes. true. Okay. Yeah, and, and then and, and God, God put the right people them in my life in at your the right place. Time. Yes, yes, that is so true. Nothing happens yeah. by accident. Yeah, and yeah. This one foot thing, yeah, I. It happened, you know, so it's something we're meant to be. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. the reality of it, I go and make it be a stepping stone. Right. I go and go harder. Mm -hmm. I go and do more new songs. Mm -hmm. I am going to tour three. I'm going to Trinidad. <laughs> Caribbean. I want to uh -huh. go Trinidad and St. Lucia. Yes. Yes. I am going to all corners of the earth. Me and the boss champion, you know? Yes. Yes. Again, enough respect the champion. A really, really humble guy. Yeah, man. When he was here with us. Yes, yes. Yes, I, Major. I like his humility. Yes. Major, are you there? <laughs> can you hear us? He'll be back. He'll be yeah, back. Yeah, definitely he's going to be back, man. You know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, what, what this really tells me as well to um, <clears throat> Lady Anna, you know, despite uh, Major Mackerel is back, despite your struggle in life and stuff like that, you know, um, <clears throat> there's always hope at the end of the, t at the, end of the tunnel, even though it may seem yeah. dark and gloomy, you know. I mean, so you can imagine a guy like Major Mackerel, I've been, I'd enjoy the best of the best of life, and then all of a sudden, mm -hmm. now I'm faced with this situation, look where my life is. That, that, definitely that's a hard thing, you know what I'm saying, to really comprehend. 
but you know what? He's here with us. So, Major, continue. One of our listeners yeah. out there, you know, you know, one of our listeners out in Trinidad and Tobago say you're making a, <laughs> you're making a laugh a lot. You know what I mean? She, she, you're prophesying right now. <laughs> yeah, the reality of it is that you see, everybody in Trinidad, Christian, Muslim, and non-religious people. Yes. All of us bleed one color blood. Definitely. Certainly true. Certainly true, brother. So the reality is that, you know, love is the way. Mm -hmm. But the beginning of love, you have to love yourself more than anything, anyone else in the world. Sure, right. Yes. And you sit from your do that, true. and your reason with your God, and your reason mm -hmm. with your God. Mm -hmm. Set your heart free and take on the world. What because we are here to fear struggles and tribulation. True. Yeah. True. We are here to be successful. But only you have to deal with your struggles and your tribulation. Situation. Yes. True. And yes. you and only you can deal with your success. Nobody cannot fight your back of I to totally agree with that. I hope, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? We got a lot of listeners, you know, right across the world tuning in, whatever your social media as, as well. So, and I'll tell you this, people, I hope y'all definitely take these words into consideration because I'm telling you this, man, it is positive words. And by saying that, you know, Major, tell you this right now, because we got a few minutes here remaining in the studio, but you know what we're going to do? We, we got, we got, we, we ain't done as yet. You got some new song right now. And you know what? All right, people. Yeah, Major definitely going to be back. But yeah, yeah he, he's back. He's back, people. But yeah, Major, you, you got some new song right now. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to introduce this song with you. No, with no, hold on, hold on. All right, go on, go on. I don't know how much more time I have left with you on the radio. Now, continue. Go on. We got a few minutes. Go on. I want to tell them that this is how I live. Okay. Uh-huh. All right. He'll probably be back. I am definitely enjoying the weekend crazy hot mix tonight, Rocco, and this interview. Yeah. Okay, he said. Yeah. Most yeah. definitely. Most and definitely. I would like all the fans around the world, because how much country we are covering now? Around 20 or 30 different countries. Oh, more than that. All right. And Everybody that's listening, including you and King Rocco. Yes, Major. This is my motto. The greatest revenge in life is success. Hmm. I do not fight with grudge and I do not carry grudge. Mm -hmm. When we said it is and no want you and King Rocco and all of the people them we yes. are Yes. Say this after me. The greatest revenge in life is success. The greatest revenge in life is success. Rock me now hear you. You know, I apologize. Basically, one of our listeners, um, actually, um, well, well two, one, quite a few listeners are actually saying, you know, they hope people take this as a great inspiration listening to you. And I was trying to pull the voice note into the studio for one of our listeners as well, wanting to know um, after the surgery if you're going to do a song basically giving your testimony. Yeah, well, basically, I got in the makings now, you know, because I just start record back, you know, I just start do back record. As you know, a lot of years, you know, hearing a new song with me, Jamaica, right? Yeah, so I'm yes. just start yeah. record back, and I am definitely going to do that. Definitely, that's yes. most definitely. That's that's definitely. Yes, because that testimony is really important. 
Yeah, man, that's yeah. definitely, definitely, yeah, yeah. definitely, definitely, lady, and yes, it's a great rapper. inspiration to others. Oh yeah, it is. It it it, it, it is. A, it, it definitely is a great inspiration to others because, as I say to you, you know, we all in our life we have deal with different circumstances and situation in life, and you know, listening again, as I did indicate to Lady Anna momentarily, listening to you right now, I'm telling you this, man, it it it, it is powerful. It is powerful. It is. Yes. Yeah, man. You know, but my but my motto in life, you know. The greatest revenge in life is success. And love all. Who you can love close, love them from a distance. Take the envy out of your brain. Take the hate out of your yeah. brain. Mm -hmm. Take the fuss out of your brain and put positive things in it. Mm -hmm. right. That's what I that is so true, brother. So true. That's what I did when I wake up and see say, that I don't have to live. Wow. Wow. Positivity in my brain. Mm -hmm. And I make peace with my God. Oh, yeah. The most important thing. I'm yeah, you're sorry. preaching fast tonight. Yes, this this is important, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of people out there that live day to day and get up. And don't know how special them is. Yes. Everyone is special. Yes. Yes. But Precisely. You have, to, you have yeah. to treat yourself special. Yes. You have. And he is so right, you know, Rocco, because when mm -hmm. you do that, then others right. are going to see how you treat yourself and the respect you have for yourself. And likewise, by extension, they will show you that respect. Because first of all, it always starts with you as an individual. You know what I'm saying? You must have to love yourself first. Appreciate yourself. Because a lot of us, you know, unfortunately, and, you know, a lot of us, we talk about we love people and we care about other people. But when, when we look at our life, the way we live our life, we live our life so recklessly. We just don't give a damn about our own life. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But we got a major back in the studio with us, people. <laughs> I'm telling you. Yeah, man. And, you know, I am privileged to be in the, to, 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 to have a song with Moses Davis, being a man. Uh, All right. And gonna... um, it's that time that we know what they saw we are going. All right, people, you know what? Tell you this, man. You listen to what a major artist say, as I tell y'all. A lot of you checking in and really from Jamaica to Trinidad to New York. A lot of you guys really, really enjoying this interview, man. You know what I'm saying? We appreciate the shout out. You know what I'm saying? Let the artists know how you guys feel about him and stuff like that. You guys can still keep the message coming. You know, we got we got about about, about 15 minutes or so remaining on the show. You know what I'm saying? 646-443-6970. But we got a new song here with the legendary great Major Markrell featuring Moses Davis, a.k.a. Beanie Man. Let's get into this right now, y'all. Tell you, it's a big, big song. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. That's crazy. Number one. Mm -hmm. I'm here, Jamal Krill and Beanie Man. Well, the other day, me meet a girl from me cellular. Never know if a Gabrielle or Ali Berry. All me know she won't bite me like a Neesberry. Girl, I tell me, say me sweet like a raspberry. My girl no mother work as it no necessary Me have her up on my phone like a secretary Lock off all borders and territory Yeah people this is Moses Davis aka Beedeman featuring The great legendary, the great legendary Major Macra mm -hmm. Yeah man I'm Major Macra and Beedeman Hey. Me meet a girl from hey, 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 hey. Never know if a Gabriel or Ali Berry. I'm no. This is the man, Major Markwell. People, check him out. Check him out. Me say me featuring Beanie Man. My girl, no mother work as it's unnecessary. Me have her on my phone like a secretary. Lock off all borders and territory. Three pint shot deck like Steph Curry. House full of girl, me ready for everybody. Me a dick. I want to make sure to tell my listeners down there in the UK. Me no mind. New York, what's up? What's up? Brooklyn, Queens, Manhattan. Just have me do me. Big all of our folks down in the Bronx, New York. I never ever seen no Jerry. 
Me na pop a ranking, you na go see no Perry You a go see Angelina and Camille calling Straight to God, my youth, you go see Moses. again The other day me a walk to what? I'm book a big fat girl name I tell you, yo, listen to me people Only the general can do that alone Only the general can do that So me go check her early one Already pan me mind was Me look down so me see the fat In a me pants and trash in me Me make her skin burn up like a gasoline Yalla ball and a scream me in Check him out on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, these are music, upper music, Amazon music, all the social media, all there you can find music. Major Marco featuring Beanie Man. Magazine, till you are 75, me love you from 17. Love when you climb from the tree and call me day. Mad and you made. My girl from a you of it. You of the tight and the good S. And when you wind to the beat, you are Beanie Man and Major Marco give you. My girl from a you of it. You have the good and the tight tight And everywhere you got them cry for you Moses, the other day me a walk to what? I'm book a big fat girl name Where your lips is a silly poor fat Who are your lips is a silly big girl So me go check her early one Already pan me mind was Me look down so me see the fat In a me pants and trash in me Yo, people, let, let me tell you something right now, people. Let me tell you something right now. Let me tell you something right now. You see this song here? I got to give it the next play right now. got to give it the next. Yo, let's get a song from the top right now, y'all. Mm-hmm. Let's get this song for the top. Major Macro featuring Beanie Man. Mm-hmm. I'm Major Macro and Beanie Man. For the top, for the top, for the top, for the top. <laughs> King Rocker, AJ Lady, and out to TNT and the legendary great yeah. Major Macro. Ali Berry, movies here, ready to sound the vibe is together. Like a knees berry, girl, I tell me some is sweet like a raspberry. My girl, no matter what, 'cause it's not necessary. Me have her up on my phone like a secretary. Lot of all borders and territory. Three point shot, dead like Steph Curry. House full of girl, me ready for everybody. Me a the girl, them man, me no sugar daddy, me no mind girl. My girl a fi give me money. Check out my people, Major Marco. I bet you still relevant in 2020. Me na dance, so you know. Authentic reggae dance, you artist. Me na pop a rank, you know. Go see no pen. You a go see Angelina and Camille calling straight to God. Featuring the great legendary Beanie Man. Yes, the other day me a walk to what? I'm book a big fat girl name. Where your lips is a silly poor fat. Who are your lips is a silly big girl? So me go check her early one. Already pan me mind was Me look down so me see the fat In a me pants and trash in me Me make her skin burn up like a gasoline Y'all a ball and a scream me in between Me a your king girl you know you a fi me queen So me me tap it in, back it up me put it in Pitch up on the front page of the magazine Till you a 75 me love you from 17 Love when you climb from the tree and call me day Mad and your man my girl from a you of it You of the tight and the good S And when you wind to the beat you are Beanie man and Major Michael give you My girl from a you of it You of the good and the tight tight And everywhere you go there Moses, the other day me a walk to what? I'm book a big fat girl name Where your lips is a silly poor fat who are your lips is a silly big girl So me go check her early one Already pan me mind was Me look down so me see the fat In a me pants and trash in me Yeah, people, we are back. We are back with the great legendary Major Marco and my co-host Lady Anna in the studio. But before we proceed, I'm asking you about this song, Major Marco. We got, you know, um, you know, your, your, your fans them out there, you know, they want to know, they, they want to know stuff. So, you know what? Let me let me play this voice right. right now so you can listen. Yeah, I... Hold on. Listen to this voice. 
navigate up button. Them on fan, you know. Tap to activate. Them ear condition. Them bigger yes. than fun. Yes. Um, UVC Family Connect. And Boss I man, know. I have one last question. Oh gosh. I don't want to ask you too much question, but yeah, ask him, ask him as well. Does he go around like on a caravan or does he do like motivational speaking to schools or institutions, let's say the prisons or, you know, different places like that, homes, to, to give people that kind of um, encouragement that, you know, um, despite whatever happened to them, that uh, they can rise above that and, you know, like within schools to let children know that, you know, um, they can be in this place or in this space one minute and then in another minute they can be somewhere else so that they have to be careful of the path that they choose. You know, so ask him about that. Respond, Legend. <laughs> yes, my general, man. Tell us that as I am a motivational speaker. I speak in school classes. Oh, that's excellent. And um, I, 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 I don't like speaking to prisons because um, people, there are a few innocent people that are in prison. Yeah. All right? So there are a few innocent people. But I, I speak in school. I speak in um, hospital. I, um, I, I encourage people. I speak at the Diabetic Foundation. I, 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 I am a motivational speaker. Seeing I can take you to the well, but I cannot force yeah, you to drink. To drink. Yeah. Yeah. Understand me, but I take a lot of people to the well. It's up to you if you want to drink. Mm -hmm. You see, each one control his own destiny, you know. And at the end of the day, I can only offer you a cup of water. I can probably force your mouth open. I can throw the water in your mouth, but I cannot let you drink. Yeah, that's up to you. It's up to you, but um, I am very motivated and emotional, and I, I speak to a lot. Um, I, I, I do a lot of kids stuff, children stuff, you know, and, you know, that, that is one of the reasons why I'm still going today. So, awesome. awesome. Yeah, man. Awesome. You know, so, so, tell her, I, 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 I am I <laughs> keep listening. Young lady, I do not know you, but all I would say to you, take a little page out of my book. See, now no, I give you the whole book, you know. You can't just take the two front page. <laughs> uh, yes, I am a, 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 a motivation speaker. And as you see and hear, you know, when you hear real things, you know real people. Yeah. So definitely, Certainly. I you want to know if I do it. Yes, I do it. All right, let's but, let's turn the, put somebody attention to this song now. Tell us about this song with you and Beanie Man. Big collaboration. All right, Beanie Man. You got, I was at Friends for Real Studio. All right, that's the day after me and Joshi left Midrail which is the 4th of January, 2022. I went to Negril, the 3rd of January, and we left from a Kingston, the 4th. And then the 5th, I got to Friends for his studio, and uh, being a man come around, come, in, come out of the studio, and when him come, then look at me and say, Major Mark Rell, I mean, look at him and say, Bean man. It's like a something where it just happened that way. Yeah. It just click, it just click at that moment. It just click and Bean man, sit down there and Bean man going at the studio. 
Me never know being a man I make the record. I was outside and him in the studio. Wow. A guy named Predator come call me and said, me jump up. I was in French for his studio of around five or six different studios on the compound. So I, I do a lot of dub plates every day in Jamaica. You know what is dub plate, King Rocker? Yeah, man, yeah, man, definitely, yeah. definitely. We yeah, do a whole room of dub plate every day. Even mm -hmm. today. That's right. When I was at the racetrack, they left the racetrack at 10 dub plate the doing at the evening after me left. Why, I tell you why. <laughs> so, me the round of one of the studio I do around a five or six dub plate me there. I mean, I remember how much me they have to do. I me do them, Mr. Predator come round and say, Are you time to record? You know, I say, What you mean by that? He said, Being a man, record round there and I wait for you. Wow, yeah. wow. So, when I go around and I hear the song, me just go into the studio and we do what we are doing. You know, Moses did it out of love. Hmm. That's why I show you and I tell Lady and, and I tell all the people in Trinidad, love everybody. True, true. Who you true. cannot love yes. closely. Love them from a distance. Yes. God love everybody. Yeah? Because love is the way of virgin. And that is how this collaboration. Bigger beanie, man. Bigger beanie, man, man. Definitely. My artist that's still. Right. Bigger beanie. Yeah. You know, Lady Anne is not like a planet. King Rocko is, you know, when artists are do collaboration, they sit down and them work out the song. is nothing like that. True, 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 mm -hmm. true. true. It's just something that is presented to us. Yeah. Through the natural mystic. All right. That okay. Is a natural mystic blowing yeah. through the ear. Yes. And if you listen carefully, you will hear. So it's just a natural thing. And the song is going very good in America, very good throughout the world, you know? Mm -hmm. And you know, it's a, it's a big song. It's a big song. Release, it just released like a month, month and a half ago. It's not like it released right time. It just release and it just uh, people just uh, get used to it. And I thank all my fans and my ear condition, because they're bigger than fans, they're my ear condition. Fan cool. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> man, from since I'm a youth growing up, you know what I'm saying? I always follow, always listen to your music. But you know what, Major? In the interest of time, you know what? Let us take it on the next track right now with you, the great legendary Major Margaret and the legendary Luton Fire. Let's get into this right now. That one, yeah, All right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, yeah, I yeah. All right. appreciate that. I appreciate yeah, that. Hold yeah, your yeah. hand, Rocco. Hold your hand. Rocco, Rocco, me and Lady Anne get married the 31st of February. <laughs> Talk to me, Magella. <laughs> oh, oh, God. February 31st, and me and I go here at the honeymoon. <laughs> Ooh, I tell you, I wish you could have here for that, man. Yeah. Where she think that she alone me there. She don't know me as more girl alone. Mm. So this is what we call them Gallis. <laughs> yes, sir. Put the Gallis. All right, all right. <laughs> You know, see. No, 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 it's a no, 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 yeah, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. I got it. Because here we have now, right? All of these years, me, I look later. 
Right. She finally gave in to me. Right. But when me broke up, when me and her get married and me left Europe, mm. see, and then mm. we, 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 the last part of our honeymoon, we go to right. Ukraine. We go down to Ukraine, go finish the last part of the honeymoon. And me have to start cheat for her because she never had treat me. Good. Right, right. <laughs> so that one your name, Moor Gallarone. Moor Gallarone. All right, people. Squeeze. <laughs> more yellow road, how are them feel like? More yellow hey, road, hey, more hey, yellow road, more yellow road. <laughs> hey, wife, man, no, we have more yellow road. You must have one, no, three, all four yellow road. We have rich, beggy, beggy, poor yellow road again. Rich, beggy, beggy, poor yellow hey, road hey. like a balabo. <laughs> more yellow road. How we them feel like? Move up the title, Mo Gala Road by the legendary Mo Gala Mo Road. You know that man who just call himself a Gala, right? Hey. Why is hey. not what we have? Hey. Mo Gala hey. Road, you must have one, no three, all four Gala hey. Road we have. Rich, beggy, beggy, poor Gala Road again. Rich, beggy, beggy, poor Gala Road like a Gala. Up top, up top, up top, up top. Up top. Mr. How we them feel like? Mo Gala Road. More Jalla Road, more Jalla Road. <laughs> hey, why is not we have more Jalla Road? You must have one, no three, all Jalla Road. We have rich, poor Jalla Road again. Beggy, beggy, poor Jalla Road. Like a ball of up in the cash, so we score Jalla Road. We have shop, stall and store Jalla Road. Never own line up, not with a poor Jalla Road. Who take care of it when we are going to Jalla Road? Who? No run down, y'all when me out there eh. One bag of y'all run me down if me go out eh. Clean without a doubt, here eh. some y'all are shouts eh. Me and John McClure, them can't do without you eh. Light skin, the black, the slim, me the fat It not really matter, me deal with the matter proper McClure had the dodge, the damn, the dope Me had the dapper, put one pan with the McClure And she changed her name to Macanaba Wife, no, no, we have more y'all are road You must have one, no, three, all four y'all are road We have rich, beggy, beggy, uh. poor y'all Road again, rich, beggy, beggy, poor, yellow road like a bala bus in the cash. So we score yellow road, we have shop, stall and store yellow road. Never own line up, not with a poor yellow road. Do we take care of it when we are poor? No yellow road. Evidently, we don't gal we life. Well, if we should all live to see our century, then it's evidently gal we are twenty. I represent me. Them said it ran full of the past as wife, but it right if I'm. Me in four daughters like Boy. the very start of listen, life and my wife now know me have more yellow road how much one no three or four yellow Rich, beggy, beggy, poor, yalla, naba, wun Fala, bo, fin, neta, so, be, hi, boom, me, be, bam Wife, no, no, me, yap Yal, no, no, me, yap, hi, boom, naba, wun Girl, no, no, me, yap Wife, no, no, me, yap, nam, boom no run down, y'all when me out eh. One bag of y'all run me down if me go eh. Clean without a doubt, hear some y'all a shout eh. Me a jam a curl, them can't do without eh. Light skin, the black of the semi, the fat of it No really matter, me deal with the matter proper I tell you, 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 I tell you Wife, no, no, what's funny, you tell you, I 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 tell you, <laughs> hey, wife, no, no, we have more Jalla Road, how much one, no, three, all four Jalla Road, all we go rich, beggy, beggy, poor Jalla Baba would rich, beggy, beggy, rich, beggy, beggy, rich. <laughs> oh, boy, boy, the chat room, turn up, boy, people. <laughs> Well, yeah, big up, big up yourself, big up yourself. All of our listeners right across the globe, from Africa to New York, from New York to Florida, from Florida to Texas, Michigan, North Carolina, I tell you, Trinidad and Tobago, Jamaica got it locked in right now. Well, well, I tell you, people, yo, Major, Mogala Road. <laughs> talk, talk up the last, song, you know, the last song is the motivation song, you know? This one, you know, it's everybody's a star in their own way. 
It's just you to find your happiness within yourself. And no matter how you try, and people put you down and try to stop you. You know, see. You is a star. This is Major Mackerel and my friend, Loot and Fire. Every ghetto youth is a star. You know, see. Nah, this yep. Loot and Fire. Ah, we no crabbing and no boring. I true we act decent and intelligent. In a dissonance, we no bring no violence. Whoa, you no see. Nah, this a loot and fire alongside the honorable major mackerel. Ah, we no crabbing and no boring. I true we act decent and intelligent. In a dis dance, we no bring no violence, yeah. Whoa. Major Mark, a feature looted fire. Turn it up now. Every ghetto youth is hey. a star. Turn but up. nobody Turn no up. see you when nothing I want. Every Big up every ghetto youth who still facing the drug, you know what I mean? When basket, every every youth about when a ghost put in a them mouth. Big up yourself. Every ghetto youth is a star. But nobody you know in a life, everything starts from the grassroots, right? Every ghetto youth is a star. No matter what them 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 youth Everything in life, you must start somewhere. No matter what the quick fix, the quick fix don't last long. Mash up the play sites. Even in life, you gotta do what you gotta do, you know what I'm saying? Great, it's true, but then chance start quality. Check it credential. Get to you, go make the money, cause it's essential. Oh, I hey. Every get a youth is a star. But when the basket empty, you can't get a part. Every get a youth is a star. But nobody na see you when no na wa. Every get a youth is a star. But when the basket empty, you no na Every get a youth is a star. All of mercy, them ask, so we live so long. No clothes for we back, we now food for you. This I get us up a race, and it's been so long. Now the most I bless my hands. Them ask for how we do it. Choose stress and pain when the haters, them a call when you hear. Them ask for how we do it. When the money... This is the more major market featuring Luton Fire. Big, big song, people. Big song, big song. New song. On the airways of UBC Rachel. Just release yourself. So we know if we the pressure more than the next man. I tell you, people, so we can crazy out. Mr. UBC Rachel is on the body. Get up. Keep rock for 18. With my co-host lady Anna and the legendary Major Mackerel. When the basket empty, you can't get a bar. Every day to you, it is a star. But nobody knows see you when nothing I want. Every day to you, it is a star. You know the funny thing in the life, right, people? Only time when people know you, when something happening to you in life. But when you got shit for nobody, people don't know you. Come here as a star and we know it's a star. Mash up the place. Well, you quote unquote not, nobody want to be your friend. Right now, we don't want to deal with them kind of people, all right? We got to clean them up. We got to wave them out. Wave them out. The it's a child. only one thing I go out in my life, you want to be close to me. Every day to you. Love me when I'm good or love me when I'm bad. You can't get a man. Every day to you. Is a star. But nobody na see you when no na wa. Every day to you is a star. But when the basket empty, you know. Every day to you is a star. All of mercy, them ask, so we live so long. No clothes for we back, we now food for ya. This I get us up a race and it's been so long. Now the most I bless my hands. Them ask me how we do it. Choose stress and pain when the haters them a call we name. Them ask me how we do it. When the morning arrives, but we know we make sacrifice. We walk the road while some ask the question. One put closer to the world than the next one. Over the years, how we the burden respond. So we know we be the pressure more than the next man. Every ghetto youth is a star. But nobody knows see you when nothing I want. Every ghetto youth is a star. Whoa, boy. Every ghetto youth is a star, people. I tell you this. Listen to me right now, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Believe in yourself. Believe in yourself because, it, you know, it's a, a, a journey of a thousand miles be, be, begin with one step. And as long as you believe in your step, believe in yourself, rather, people are going to believe in you. But if you don't believe in shit about you, nobody going to believe in you. You know what I'm saying? So, welcome back to the Weekend Crazy Out Make King Rock with HG featuring my, with my co-host Lady Anna featuring the legendary himself, King Mackerel. <laughs> the, the King Major Mackerel. Yo, Major, welcome back, man. 
I give thanks for the time, you know. This is one of the longest interviews I've ever done. <laughs> We're up on the radio from 7.15, now it's 9.31. We know, really appreciate I'm, having you. No, I love it. I appreciate love. Put some love in it. You don't want no. You yes. <laughs> Yes, yeah, but you know what, Major? Sharing the love. I'm yeah, happy man. myself, I lady. Give thanks, you know. Yeah, man. I have advice for all the young artists them when they're out there. Use Major Markle as an example. Don't stop doing what you're not doing. Agreed. All right. And you, lady, and don't stop doing what you're doing. King Rocker, don't stop doing Thank what you. you're doing. Thank you. Appreciate that, my yes. man. Appreciate that, pops. But Thanks. you know what? Thank you. I am, I am delighted to, to spend this two, this almost hours. A five hour now, this five <laughs> yeah. hour with you guys. Yes. Well, yes, you know yes. what, myself, a lady, and for UVC, it's our pleasure, man. You know what I'm saying? First yes. time in your life. Three months I'm sure you, do, yeah. you, you have done a lot of interviews, but you know what? Oh, my God. This is amazing, man. It you, has you got been, a privilege. Yeah. All but, right, ma General. but major, I, before I, you go quickly, you need to do yeah. a little something. A little UVC something for us right now, man. Drop a little something. UVC, a major macro the veteran, a bossy tan deaf one. What do you mean by dotty bong, pass on my dotty bong, dotty bong, dotty bong, pass on my. When I was she done, bang, can't touch it, champion. Oh, touch it, Dan Ban, you are calling my bad man. When I was she done, Ban, Lady Anna Madu Man. When you be in a yo, you love a mo, and you are run off your mo, you look on the bow. Miss Getty, Getty, Gala, you won the man. And Miss Wanty, Wanty, Wah. Man who no fool, who no go mentally mad, no eat no cow food, but then bite the cow. Mm. He looks funny, <laughs> and he says, oh, 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 oh. but he looks a bun and no bad, no bad. No say, I'm afraid of them, my enemy, enemy, flex article, but them my frenemy, frenemy, high hypocrite, them my penemy. Then he me go read it, she does and do the high book. Some girl, ah, 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 people, people, it has been, it has been great. Interviewing the legend, myself and Lady Anne on the weekend, crazy up. Man, Major Macra on behalf of management and staff of UVC Radio, myself and Lady Anna. It's our pleasure to you this evening in the art seat of the crazy art mix. You know certainly. what I'm saying? Certainly. <laughs> it's our pleasure. It's our pleasure, Major, having you in the art seat tonight, man. I, I, I was expecting this. And I prepared myself for it. But the internet had beaten a little bit. But the reality of it is that. What was meant to be will yes. have to be. Have yes. to be. And you were meant yeah. to be here tonight. <laughs> so I will just give thanks to the time. Yes. So Blessed love. Yeah. We are listening out there. Learn. Yeah. Even one thing. I mean, I leave them with this thing. The last but not least. And try remember. The greatest revenge in life is success. Hallelujah to that. Yeah, that King Rocco. Yeah, I'm listening to you, my man. I'm listening to you. Yeah, the I mean, greatest you revenge in life is success. You know, you have some friends or some friend in me. Oh, yo, absolutely, man. Absolutely. Then we probably do your bad things. Oh, absolutely. Yep. Don't wish them no bad. Just yeah. yeah. And, I'm, and I appreciate that. That is so true. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. With whatever you do. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you, man. Yeah. Thank you. The greatest revenge in life is success. Thank you very much for that, man. All right, and I am delighted. You know, I mean, I couldn't walk the radio station. Yeah, you know. They only don't go meet me. But, you know, just put the item in my life. Yeah, special. True, 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 true. Yeah. 
Likewise, put me in a phone life for a special reason. We appreciate that, brother. We appreciate you know, that. I give thanks for everything, Bridget, and all the people. Yeah, people, yeah, people. We got one minute busy for signing autographs. Busy, busy around the world. Busy, <laughs> boy, I tell you. Man, <laughs> man, nice man. Anna, I tell you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, time, definitely man. one Woo. with a difference. Yeah, this, this, it has this been is a, fabulous. This is an interview for the books. <laughs> yes, yes, you are this correct. This is an interview for the books. I'm telling you this, man, you know what I'm saying? So we want to say big shout out. Yeah, Major Michael is back. We got we got a minute yeah, remaining. Man, yeah, Back man. to you, Major. I give thanks to the time. And I appreciate, appreciate love how you and Lady and take time to introduce back Major Michael to the world. Oh yeah, man. Mr. Welcome. It's our pleasure, right. brother. It's our pleasure, man. <laughs> hey, you give our, our jingles then, boss. Man, but me make some man music. listen to me right, man. Just got edited and stuff like that, and I'm going to definitely pass it on. You know what I mean? <laughs> she got Thank it, man. She so got it, y'all. much. Yes, much give love and respect yeah. for that. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, love the boss stretch, you know, champion, you know? Yep, definitely. Pick up yourself, champion. And give thanks again, my brother, you know? Yeah, man, definitely, definitely. Yo, uh, Major, uh, is, is, Yo, talk to me. Last but not least, Rocco. Me have one sister left where still a virgin. Anytime you want to be my brother-in-law, just make me know. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> All right. Yeah! <laughs> you, you know, me really thank you, you know. To hey, listen, people, if y'all can see me, I'm sweating up in this place right now, man. I'm sweating up in this place. <laughs> Uh, blessed love, my brother. Bless, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Major, bless the love. Bless the love to you, well. <laughs> I'm a little. Wait, boy, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Listen, listen to me right now. You know, see. Yo, uh, no, no, this no. blue tent for your long song. <laughs> King Rocco and King Mackerel. Yes, yes. <laughs> well, well. <laughs> and yes, my brother. Hello. Uh, brother, yes. love you, man. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Listen to me, listen to me brother. Anytime, anytime you would like to pass back and join us, anytime, man. You let us know. Oh, we're definitely going to keep on promoting and pushing the music. I keep Major Mackerel's name still in the business. You know what I'm saying? Blessing love to you, Major Mackerel. And as you say, everybody right across the globe. Wherever you are, whoever you are, I tell you this, this is this is in one for the books. I'm telling you, people, this is not for the weak hearted, you know what I'm saying? Because y'all see so many different sides of Major Marker tonight. Y'all saw the entertainment side of him, y'all saw the motivational side of him, y'all saw the spiritual side of him. Man, y'all get a mixed bag of every great thing of Major Marker tonight. All right, Bridget, we really are. Yeah, people, we're gonna take, we're gonna leave this for this song. Yeah, man, bless up with Major Marker featuring Luton Fire. You know what I'm saying? For every get to use. I'll tell you this, man. If you're in the slum right now, rise up in the slum because it's about that time. No way for next year. It's about that time right now. You know what I'm saying? So